Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So welcome to the future. It is now 2022, right? You know, as uh, we move further into the future, I always like to kind of look at fictional stories and find ones that are set in the year we're in. It's normally entertaining. This year's kind of different. Because it gives us, uh, well, it gives us two competing options. Do you know who was born in 2022? George Jetson. George Jetson. In the 60s, people thought that's where we'd be be at by now. This semi-idyllic world. Cars that fly and fold up into briefcases. Working three hours a day, three days a week. Because everything else is automated. That image of the Jetsons, that was the best that they could imagine. And oddly enough, a lot of that stuff has happened. Smart watches. Anyway, that's what people were hoping for back then. You know what else is set this year? 2022. Story about a cop investigating this thing that happened involving this company. The world is uh, not idyllic. The oceans are dying. There's climate catastrophe, overpopulation. It's hyper capitalist. The gap between those on the bottom and those on the top, well, it has never been more pronounced. Those at the top, well, I mean, they're paying $150 for a, a jar of strawberry jam. Those at the bottom, well, they're eating what they can. And soil and grain is people. Two very conflicting visions of the future. Oddly enough, the book that Soil and Grain was based on was actually written around the same time as the Jetsons. Two very, very different futures. And now we're there, and it looks nothing like either one. The thing is, we're running out of time to figure out what kind of world we're going to have. Because if we continue down the path we're on, it's definitely going to look more like Soylent Green than the Jetsons if we don't make serious changes if we don't start to address some of the inequities in the world the whole world not just the US if we don't start being uh, a little bit more conscious of this rock that we're on we don't have a choice We won't end up being able to choose. It's just going to devolve. You know, all we have to do really is set a course for some idyllic future and work towards it and accept the fact that things are going to change. Things that we have known will change. Systems that we have known will change. We're going to have to adjust and adapt. Or we don't, and we just hope we're the ones on the top when the dust settles, right? You know, 2020, for a lot of people, pretty bad year. It's probably, historically speaking, that's going to go down. It's a really bad year. And now we're in 2022, you know. This could be the year it starts to turn around. This could be the year that we commit to making a better future, to charting that course and getting somewhere that, uh, well, gets us to George Jetson. Or this can be 2022. Anyway, it's just a thought. 
Y'all have a good day.